So this is for this uh, descending run here and here. Okay, which is in the uh, uh, where the Allegro di Moto e Combrio begins. So um, my tip for the Allegro di Moto Combrio beginning is I got this from somebody else on YouTube, some woman piano teacher. Is you do it two chords at a time. So it's um, that's two. That's another two. Okay, so okay, so it's it's one. I get between those two, between the two, each two, there should be not too much space, not too much time. No. Okay. So this last one, of course, will be a. Slightly different that one, but one, two, one, two, one, two. Slight different last chord, but um, yeah, so that's the, the beginning. Well, this is, and then this descending run, I would do it like this. Preparing the right hand. Here, preparing it, the fingers was touching the keys. down so your fingers are touching the keys. You just practice that again and again, which I will do. Sorry. slowly as well. speed it up in tempo.
it's a nice little joint thing you can do as a practice run like this. So the left hand is just this. And then that, of course, will go to this. And you can add the third bit to practice as well. Yeah, again, it's in twos. After the beginning bit. Okay, it's just like, just like, it's in twos to practice in twos. Also this bit. Begins on D and G natural, quite weird. Okay. And this one will always start on the A flat. No, sorry, on the A. Uh, yeah. natural okay. and then it goes to E flat so it's A natural and E flat okay. resolving to B, D, B flat and D normal and then it goes to the E flat to start the third chord rather than being the, the second one of the first chord yeah. Back to that again. Back to that one again. Back to that, back to that one. Same configuration. So this is the easiest of all of these parts. Bring your left hand in and underneath. So you do that on that, and then that. The E flat and the G flat will be at the same time as the B flat here. So let's start from here.
again. And this is now gone to F. And then it's um, put it down to C. This is up here. Goes to B. Sounds discordant, but that's what Beethoven wrote. And then just back to C with the E and the G. Turn you on F. to A, E and the F. It's a difficult one. Again, strange.
flats, yeah. The last here um, uh, tact is does it twice. That's quite easy. And up here, it's up here. The way to do that, I haven't done it yet, is obviously to practice them in chords. So, um, uh, this will be, for example, this will be, um, this will be a. Uh, that'll be that tri triad, this chord here. And then the next one. Okay, and these three, um, these uh, triads will be worked out there. Without doing this, you just do them so you know each left hand, and the left hand, and then the right hand. I haven't done it yet. And then the whole thing will come together, because remember the rules of piano playing are slowly, slowly, and slowly, and also separate hands. And then for pieces like this, it's also staccato and slowly, separate hands. And that's the way to, to get fast and to accomplish these, these wonderful pieces of music, such as no one has ever composed and no one will ever compose, because it's um, too late, 200 years too late to do anything better. <laughs> 